how to learn to write Jordan letters. So this is something that we'll focus on today. And maybe you have thought when you saw for the first time Georgian alphabet, what to do with that. So it is much, much easier than you may think at the beginning and just looking for the first time at Georgian alphabet. And that is why here in this video, in our series Georgian for Beginners, I will give you some tips and tricks how to write Georgian letters and how to learn to write them. Hi, I'm Masha and I'm the owner and the founder of Inzitni Kaukazu Languages of the Caucasus Publishing House and I'm also the Georgian language teacher and author of Georgian study books. For example, our recent one, Let's Study the Georgian Alphabet. And today I will share with you some tips and tricks exactly about this. And this is series Jordan for beginners. If you are watching this particular series for the first time. And in this series, we share with you small video lessons about Jordan language. Each and every article here that you will um, see as a video, it is an article as well on our website. So link corresponding link, it is always in the description of uh, each and every episode and exactly today you can go as well after watching that to our website www.wienzitnikaukasu.pl you can read it maybe you can go and see other our materials yeah so let's go to today's topic learning how to write georgian letters is often like i would say the beginning of your study in georgian send it's quite challenging. It may be quite challenging at the beginning to know, uh, to not knowing how to write, then how to learn it. So I know that some of you may be trying to write the, like Georgian uh, words with English equivalent. So the transliteration that you can read that in English and not using that much Georgian alphabet because it may seem, as I said, challenging for you, but this is not really the case. The main part is when you know how to write Georgian alphabet, it becomes much, much easier and faster to learn. So this strategy to write down in your alphabet and write down in English, firstly, it is like there is no ideal transliteration of Georgian alphabet, for example, to English and any other language that I know, for example, and I know several of them, uh, because there are some sounds that are just in uh, Georgian. Uh, and additionally, it makes the whole process much, much longer. So if you are wondering, for example, uh, how to learn Georgian alphabet in general. We have also prepared for you like five uh, step plan to remember uh, Georgian letters. We have as well this as a video, so you may find it uh, here as well. And if you're just focusing on, because today we are focusing on how to write and how to learn the alphabet, there is also a very good tips and tricks, much, I would say, fast, <laughs> fast to implement in your life. That is why you can watch it as well. So today about writing and we are, will be focusing on handwritten form because you have to write uh, as well uh, by hand uh, and not just type on the keyboard because it is almost the same as it is with English. You just press the buttons. However, we were wondering in our team whether you would like to have a separate video about how to start typing in Georgian, like how to find the letters on keyboard, where are the uh, different letters that we do not have that are not so obvious and how to install all the fonts, etc. Let us know in the comments whether this is something as well interesting for you and for you, for example, to start writing in Georgian on your smartphone or tablet with your friends. So if you want a separate lesson about that as well, let us know in the comments and we try to do our best and prepare that for you. So let's come back to handwritten form. So how does really also the notebook for writing Jordan looks like? So maybe you had as well in your primary school, like a notebook from the beginning with three lines or any other pattern uh, maybe that will help you writing. We had something like that, for example, with Latin alphabet in Poland, there were three lines and we know how to write in those three lines. So 
I know in Korean, in Vietnamese, there is something as well like that. And the Georgian, they have as well such notebooks, but with three squares. But this is not the case like with the typical uh, squared notebooks that we have, for example. But uh, the, those uh, squares are a little bit different. What does it mean? That the middle square is a bit shorter uh, than the one above and the one below. And such a notebook helps you really understand the proportions between separate letters. So that is why children in Georgia start writing in those notebooks. And after, I would say, each three squares, so after one line, uh, there is a, a little bit of space usually that it will help you understand when the row ends. So if you are in Georgia currently, probably if you go to any bookstore or uh, like things with stationery, uh, you will find such a notebook. You may go there and check it on your own and use it for writing as well. And we have as well prepared for you um, in those forms, written alphabet and written lots of exercises in our book, Let's Study Georgian, the Georgian Alphabet. Uh, so you, if you do not have access and also you want to have additional exercises, not just blank notebook, if you want to have additional exercises and uh, just a help how to start writing, let's start the Georgian Alphabet, maybe of help for you a link to have more information about this book, uh, about this ebook, you will find in the description of today's episode as well. Okay, so we know where to write and how to start writing. So, you know, you have to have the, the proportions about the proportions I will take as well in a sec. So how uh, to write Georgian letters by hand. So when you start studying Georgian, you definitely want to like befriend a pen and pencil or a stylus when using a tablet because you don't have to write it on like physical uh, piece of paper. You may as well use tablet for that, for example, as uh, you may have and our students do with our ebook. You can write on tablet as well and or your uh, phone even if you have a bigger screen and you're able to do that just to have a stylus. The main part is that you're hand has to move, not only type like that. So there is no other really good way to learn how to write Georgian letters, uh, but just to actually write them. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Hand write them to be more precise. So how to write those Georgian letters by hand? You have to understand, as I mentioned, that there are proportions on three levels. Each level can, like each letter maybe like that, can be written on minimum one of them. For example, upper and middle one. So those are the Georgian letters B, H, Z, for example. It is similar to Latin or uh, English, K, L, B. And middle one, so uh, for example, in the middle one, so this is, those are letters A, E, O in Georgian, and this is similar to A, E, and uh, E, and in O uh, in English. And the middle one and lower, like G, E, T, so it is similar to uh, G, J, or P in English, for example, and the upper and the middle and the lower, so the big letters that go through all of the and um, all of the levels that we have. So this is, for example, t, this it, it is letter K, and this is, for example, letter T. So this is similar to, I'd say, like writing a big J uh, letter in English. So if you uh, want to uh, summarize that and analyze that, you may go as well to our article after hearing to and watching this whole video and just rethink it on your own and try writing it on your own. And here you, uh, you are already seeing that yeah, this is exactly how the letters look like written like in all those three levels. So this is like, I would say, the, the way children would write it. This is the font that uh, it is almost like children would write it at school. And this is how we also as adults, as foreigners learning Georgian, how we should start writing. Exactly. 
So the other question that I often really get and have been receiving across my over 10 years of learning and uh, uh, me learning Georgian and uh, me teaching you uh, Georgian, this is do Georgian letters, like do we write them um, from left or from right? Yeah, so the other rule that you have to remember this and it will really help you um, make faster your writing. This is the vast majority of letters uh, is being written from left to right. Exactly. So maybe it's, uh, it is obvious for you if you write that in English as well, but it is important just to uh, get a grasp maybe in, in Georgian as well. It means that when you finish one letter, you want that your pen to be on the right hand, right hand side of this letter. So you from the left on the next letter, you can write the next letter as well. So if you write normally in English, it may sound obvious, but often it happens that when we start doing uh, something in another language, then we start to question how to do it. So it's better to know that already. So additionally, letters that are written out in the middle and lower levels. So we already know what that, that mean, means. So they are written very often from up to down direction. And it is like that. You, It is not obligatory like there will be no police coming to you if you start writing it other, otherwise that I just uh, uh, said. But the case is uh, that first of all, this is how Georgian writes. And uh, if uh, they write it this way, so this is exactly uh, after written, writing this this way, this is how the letters look like as they should in Georgian. And the other case is that if you write it within the patterns I just mentioned, then also there is a bigger chance you will start writing simply faster because this is the way how for centuries the Georgians have been writing so they know how to make it faster. Isn't it obvious? Yeah, so that is that is the case. That is the reason why I'm sharing that uh, with you as well. Okay, so we know how to, how to write and one thing this is to know how to write Georgian alphabet but the other is to actually start handwriting as well. So I also remember like my crooked letters when I was starting learning Georgian many years ago, over 15 it is, yeah, already 15, more, more than 15, I think. Uh, and so me thinking uh, that time, so how can I write them? How can I make it better or make it faster simply? There's no one has to wait when I calligraph my first letters. So the first way to practice writing is simply to do some calligraphy exercises. For example, writing with templates. So you have like a gray uh, written or printed letter and then you just follow the patterns or something like that. Or maybe how also exercises like learning how to recognize each letter and those are the types also uh, of the exercises that we have put in our book. So in uh, in our ebook, let's uh, study George, the Georgian alphabet. And if you uh, follow those simple, it may sound simple or simplistic even exercises, then it is much faster for you. It's better to remember that and you just get the grasp of how it goes and then much faster you start writing on your own without those exercises. So as I mentioned, uh, there are not only like this, but many other exercises in our uh, study book, let's study the Georgian alphabet, uh, where we have gathered, gathered over 25 different exercises. In addition to that, over 17 uh, pages just for practicing writing. Yeah, including both, you know, the school style or as children learn and as well, let's say fast writing uh, adult style. So maybe you know that Georgians, when they are adults, very often they write slightly different. I mean that they are not so round and beautiful letters. Probably it happens with you as well uh, when you are comparing to how you were writing at school and say uh, how you're writing right now in your alphabet. For me, it is really the same that totally 
three different letters, although the same alphabet, but they write it much faster. And with Georgians happens the same way. That is why we have included as well some exercises for you to practice or at least to try more or less this fast writing adult style, let's call it that way. The other way how to, uh, besides doing those exercises as well, is to simply practice writing in learning Jordan further because you do not learn alphabet just for learning new alphabet. At least very often you do not do uh, that for this purpose. So writing, using that for writing of first words, uh, for a writing of a first verbs or writing your first sentences. This is like using uh, the writing and the letters as a tool in learning Georgian and uh, communicating uh, in this language. So this is all, always like the next step, I would say, after you learn uh, simply learn the writing and learn the Georgian alphabet. The proficiency and speed of writing, for sure, it will come along with time when you do that and you just proceed with your learning Georgian language. Exactly. So we have come to the end of today's video and today's lesson. I hope uh, you have found some tips and tricks useful for you and fingers crossed, yes, fingers crossed for you that you will start after watching this video or maybe after going to our website and reading the article about it, you will start writing on your own. If you sometimes it is very useful, want to have a like a cheat sheet uh, of um, Georgian alphabets, uh, some basic uh, information that you can have with you, like you are writing here and then you know that here it is the cheat sheet for you, that you can always check this particular letter that you don't remember. So we have something prepared like this for you as well. So there are three columns with each and every letter. The first is how we uh, print the letter, so how it looks in print, for example. Uh, then it is how we handwrite that, because with some letters it looks slightly different. That is why we have included in our materials as well this information and as well you will find the transliteration in English. So in case you do not remember Okay, so I know how it looks like, but how does it sound? So then you have in this material as well. If you want to have this particular PDF just for you to have it either printed or on your tablet, on your telephone, computer, whatever, you may just uh, simply sign up uh, to our Caucasian mail because then we have an email, then we can send you the PDF. Otherwise, it's quite hard. And then you will be joining us for our newsletter. So we'll be getting once a week uh, some tips and tricks and additional info and fun facts about Georgia, Georgian and the Caucasus, the culture as well and also information about our new study books and new courses that are coming along for beginners in Georgian. So something that you can use uh, also to practice your Georgian in a modern way. If you like this, those videos, I'm more than sure you will like those materials as well. So the link to get your uh, cheat sheet about uh, Georgian alphabet you can find also in the description of this episode. Okay, thank you very much for today. If you liked uh, this series and if you like these videos, let us know by you know, thumbs up. Uh, show us that you like it and of course make sure that you follow us for more materials on Georgian and as well in our podcast the Caucasus podcast about Georgia in general about the language culture history etc and about the Caucasus as a whole region thank you very much and see you in the next one bye bye